acceleration is one of the most important foundational concepts in physics, and it's something a lot of students get confused on. So let's make sure we really understand what acceleration is. By definition, acceleration is a change in velocity. So anytime you see that triangle in science, you can just say change in. That's what that means. So this says change in velocity over change in time is equal to acceleration by definition. That's what acceleration is. Anytime your velocity is changing, you are accelerating. The first thing to notice is those arrows above the V and the A. Both acceleration and velocity are vector quantities. And what that means is there's a magnitude and a direction that comes with each. For example, with velocity, think about something moving 35 meters per second north. That's a velocity. It's a magnitude, the 35 meters per second. That's the speed of the object. North is the direction. Okay, so whenever you have a vector quantity, there's a direction involved. Okay, so what this says, anytime your velocity is changing, you are accelerating. So let's look at a few examples of acceleration that you would be familiar with. So I want you to imagine you're in your car driving. Think about anything that you can do to the car that's going to throw you about the car. Here's what I mean. Case one, let's say you hit the gas. What is that going to do? You are going to be pushed back into your seat. You're going to feel that being pushed back into your seat. That's an acceleration. Why? Because your velocity is changing. You are increasing your velocity by hitting the gas. That's a change in velocity. So you feel an acceleration. Case two, what if you hit the brake? Well, if you hit the brake, you are gonna fly forward in your seat. That's an acceleration because your velocity is changing. In this case, you're decreasing your velocity. In physics, we would use a minus sign to show that. So even decreases in velocity are also accelerations. We would just use a minus sign to show that. And now a third less obvious thing you could do to throw to yourself about the car is turn. Say you turn real hard, you, you kind of get thrown over to the side, right? That is also an acceleration. Now, not as obvious because it doesn't seem like you're speeding up or slowing down and you might not be. However, that's where that arrow comes into play. Remember, acceleration is defined as change in velocity and velocity has direction. So even though your speed's not changing, when you make that turn, your direction is in constant flux. It's constantly changing. So that counts as a change in velocity because velocity, remember, is a speed and a direction. So if that direction is changing, you are accelerating. So acceleration is change in velocity.